What's good, Cyberspace? It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne, coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. guys we're gonna get into this video here um, we have a woman basically explaining her experience on a dating app and I wanted to highlight it because there is a trend going on where a lot of white women are basically saying they are not trying to date white men and I find it very odd and very peculiar and that's why I wanted to highlight this TikTok here because she goes through this whole explanation on how she went on a date with a guy everything was perfect everything was great but obviously he was too much of a nice guy and she saw her father in him she saw her brother in him and she didn't want to take it to the next level and didn't even let him smash so let's get into the video and we'll see you know the delusion of a lot of these modern chicks and pretty much why they stay single and they end up not being married well into their mid 30s and early 40s this is my third time making this video but here is a hinge guy update i know a lot of you guys have been asking and i just it's not that i've been ignoring you it's just more of like i don't really know what to say because i don't really know what happened i know it was me um but let's so she doesn't know what happened but she knows it was her and so she doesn't know what happened, but she is acknowledging that she's the reason why it didn't happen. So how do you not know what happened if <laughs> you're the reason why? It's so crazy how Shorty is talking here, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. So brief synopsis. I met this guy on Hinge. I downloaded Hinge because I was tired of the LA dating scene. And what did I tell you guys? Bad chicks do not I mean, you can find some decent girls on day naps, but like the real baddies who are securing themselves, and I'm talking about bad in the personality as in good, but like a bad chick, you know, like she's actually attractive and she has a good personality. They usually are not on dating apps, bro. They are not on dating apps because, you know, they don't need to be on dating apps in order to um, get that attention and validation because in their real life, they're getting it and on instagram if they have an instagram but some of them definitely use the dating apps to funnel into the instagram but if they're actively trying to date on the dating apps then most likely she's not really that bad in person i wanted something new i wanted to try different types of men that sounds fucked up but you get what i'm saying and so try different types of men meaning that she has already tried a plethora of men and now she is going to what what she's going to detail she's going to try and date a white guy oh let me see if i can date a white guy that's this is literally her attempting to date a white guy because she says she has only dated brothers anyways um so i met this guy he was super nice um he was very thoughtful he literally listened to everything i said he took it in and he did exactly what I asked. I didn't even ask him to do these certain things. Like he just was very thoughtful. Like he was amazing, perfect. I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, he was so loving to Louie, my dog. Like he literally took him, like that was his own dog. Like Louie was obsessed with him. So a lot of these chicks in their dating app profiles, they'll say, oh, if you can't fall in love with my dog, then I can't fall in love with you, blah, blah, blah. And here, this guy is doing everything right being a gentleman he the dog has fallen in love with him he's fallen in love with the dog and she still still is apprehensive about the guy it's ridiculous um which was a big thing for me too um i was very attracted to him but this is just, I just need to throw this out. Not to mention the tattoos. It looks like she's got a sternum tattoo. That's a red flag. 
I think she's got some more coming up the sleeve. Big red flags. And she has dyed her hair blonde, even though she is a natural brunette. I can see it in her eyebrows. So she's definitely trying to be somebody that she is not. And <laughs> in order to attract certain men that she is attracted to, I guess. Out here, because you guys just need to understand. I've dated black men my entire life. Um, ever since I was able to date. I've and see, I'm not even mad at the preference. As a matter of fact, her preference actually benefits me, but not me specifically, specifically, but like in general, her preference benefits us, okay? The brothers in general. But it's just like, I don't know. It's just something about, oh, I only date this. I only, you know? It, it, it's kind of cringe, I'm not gonna lie, especially coming from a white woman. I've dated black men. I've maybe dated a couple white men here and there, and I don't know if that plays a part, but like, I'm very physically attracted to a darker complexion. I don't know what it is. That's just, I just like black men. And- You don't know what it is? Really? <laughs> I bet somebody could guess real quick in the comments section what it is. I like all men, okay? Like, I don't, I'm not like specifically like, I have to talk to a black man, but it's like, that's just what I've done my whole life. And that was not a conversation that I had with Hinge Guy, um, because I don't. <laughs> Yo, if she would have had that conversation with that white dude either, he would have been, he, he would have been like the, the super liberal. Oh yeah, I definitely totally get that. Or are the rumors true? <laughs> you know, joke it tight, dude. <laughs> or he would have, you know what I'm saying, he would have blown up. Or he could have just, you know, huh, okay, cool. You know, and put her in a category and then kept it moving. I don't know. I don't really feel like that was important. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, um, so he just reminded me of my dad and my brother. He had my brother's mannerisms and my dad's jokes and like. So he was a good guy. This is why you can't satisfy him, bro. You can not, you can't win for losing out here is crazy. They will never be satisfied. Just, it was too much. Like he reminded me of like a family member. And before he reminded me of a family member, I was, like I said, very attracted to him. He's freaking perfect, has his own like company. Like he's just- Man, he should have, he should have played the bad boy card. He really should have like, he should have just ran the bad boy game, honestly. Everything. But I was not sexually attracted to him and that's never happened to me. Like I was very much attracted to him as a person and any everything he had to offer, but him himself, like sexually, I couldn't, I couldn't have sex with him. And I was messing with him for like two months, like two months. And I know he was getting frustrated and it kind of like took out like his friend. Yeah, he was getting sexually frustrated because she wasn't giving it up. Two months, he's going on dates, he's coming through, you know, he's probably spending the night sometimes and they're in pajamas and he's being the respectful man and not trying her and not pushing up on it or nothing like that. Just going to sleep like a like like a eye, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um He's getting frustrated. He's obviously getting, you know, bricked up while she's all up on him. And it, it, it's an L, bro. It is an L. It's crazy. Um, but bro wasted his time. And this is what they'll do. They really will waste your time. If you're a good guy, they're going to waste your time. That's why you have to escalate sexually to see if she's really attracted to you. You got to, uh, you know... Sooner rather than later, you want to push that envelope. Frustration was like showing in our dating life. And um, I had went out of town with my family and like kind of had some time to reflect. And like, I know it's- She went out of town and got piped out by a guy out of town. And then she's like, uh, yeah, I'm not really attracted to this guy. It's not right, but I just wasn't talking to him. And that's kind of just where it went. Like we just don't speak and it's like so she ghosted him and then like a lot of these chicks will be mad that men are ghosting them but they we all know any guy who's out here dating we all know that women are the main ones who be doing the ghosting they really are 
And, you know, we chalk it up to the game. It is what it is, you know. Um, it, it's water off the duck's back. But, um, <clears throat> guys are getting ghosted way more often than girls. And that's where the frustration is coming from. Not to mention the flake rate is, I'll say it's like a 90% flake rate, at least on the first date. She probably even flaked on this guy. So, hey. Like we just have never really spoke about what happened, but also he gave me this baby agave and it was this big and now it's like really growing. And I don't know if that's a sign or anything, but this is- Wow. So he gave her the baby agave, which is, you know, a gift. He was trying to be cute or whatever. It, it's something that's supposed to be romantic um, and it's growing. But let me tell you something. I'm not gonna say bro is a simp totally cause hopefully he was dealing with another chick while he was talking to her, but most likely he wasn't. He was focusing on her. Meanwhile, she's dealing with other guys, dating other guys while she's talking to this guy. I guarantee she did not go those two months without getting piped down. So somebody was hitting it while she was talking to this guy for two months. And these are the games that they will play and they'll act like the men are playing that same game. and. And, and but she knows for a fact he was like exclusive to her for those two months i guarantee and it, and it's and that's messed up and that's why a lot of dudes are just like look man i'm just gonna play the bad boy role because you know if i don't do that then you're gonna end up trying to play me anyway and that's how a lot of get uh, a lot of guys are going out a lot of guys are getting played i i th i th i classify that as getting played two months no intercourse you're 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 buying her things baby agave i guarantee he bought them roses in the back too so he's doing things for her and then she just goes him goes to them goes on a, a trip with her family and then goes him how much you want to bet that was a bachelorette trip <laughs> okay like this is crazy dog but um shout out to all the white dudes out here um I know that this is a growing trend, and I, I think it's unfortunate um, for y'all, but obviously beneficial for the brothers out here. And this is a minority of the white chicks. Let me just specify that there. This is a small percentage. But, you know, a lot of them are talking and speaking up about this online, so it makes it seem like, because these things are going viral, it makes it seems like seem like this is the norm when in all actuality, I'll say it's probably like, it's more like 20% who will only and then probably 30% who, you know, have no um, racial preference, I guess. I mean, everybody has a racial preference, honestly. But anyways, at this point, I'm rambling. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship questions to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app. So I know you pay your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your mark freaking game with the BS. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Claim your throne.